Casey Healy, director here at Century 21 Nova Castron in Newcastle, back with you for our Monday wrap, keeping Newcastle investors up to date on what's happening in the current rental market, tips, tricks and strategies to maximise your return on your investment. As always, Nicole Hall joins me, our investor consultant. Morning, Nick. Morning. How was your weekend? It was busy. Busy? How's the <laughs> renovating going? 12 hours on Saturday, so safe wow. to say I was pretty exhausted by the end of it. Oh God. See, we, we do what we say, we say what we do. So Nicole's an investor herself renovating a property ready for tenants. So fun times. You it can definitely fun. put yourself in your client's shoes. Yeah, absolutely. How was your weekend? Yeah, good. I had a really quiet weekend. Nice. I've done it two weekends in a row and it's just what I needed. Yeah, it, it, those down times are, you know, bring you back in and yep. put everything no, no back alcohol. in your perspective. It was, yeah, it's been good. Good work. I know. This week we had a few opens. What yeah, happened? we did. We had seven opens on Saturday, but stepping back to last week, so this is including sat Saturday, there was 18 inspections scheduled. So We've got a lot for lease at the moment. Not so much for lease now, although there's still a few, but I think we right. got up to 10. Like 10 or 15 properties for lease during the week last week. I jumped on this morning. We've still got 10 properties online, still got like 10 as online. on this morning. Like, So out of that week, we had 210 tenant inquiries and we received 69 applications so far so uh, this is going to be another huge week for the team and you know another two to four properties will be hitting the market this week just just to put it out there so um, keep an eye on that one yes and please bear with us we are a little short staffed at the moment as well we've got a couple of in isolation so fun times hey we've done it before we've got the process down pat now at least we haven't gone boom, 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 down the road like we're we're spreading this one out yeah so, <laughs> it's fine this week i thought i'd chat about changing managing agents so I know you've been well we've taken over a few managements from other agents of late and I just thought I'd discuss that process and see obviously when you're talking with the clients what's their biggest reason for changing managing agents I think the most common thing that I'm coming across is the landlords are actually unhappy with the communication so it could be in all areas it could be in just selected areas but yeah first thing communication and how do we differ it with that in providing that communication? Yeah, so as a team, we do have the systems, the structures, the tick boxes for absolutely everything. So nothing gets missed within our team. And communication is key. Like it's really, you know, something the, those that Those valid work on. touch points that we've got. So whether it's following up after a routine inspection, whether it's calling the owner every week with an update on marketing, whether it's checking if they're happy with the marketing, there's there's all of these touch points and communication from our team that ensure everyone across the board provides that same level of service, but that it can't be forgotten or unseen because we have complete transparency, being that's one of our one of our goals and one of our values as a business. Yeah. Now, when we're taking over management, so there's always a, a delay or a notice period that has to be given to the other agents. How are you switching that up a little? <laughs> what I've actually been doing is so most common is probably a 30 day notice period, 30, 60 or 90. And what we're actually doing is offering the landlords to come straight over. So what we do then is we'll contact the managing agent, um, issue them with an, a notice, and then we're paying that invoice for that management period. So the current managing agent isn't losing out on any of their fees. They're still being paid for that termination period. But what it's allowing is that our landlords to come over right Straight now away. so it's a few days notice that we give and then we collect the file and we start working on that so we're kind of putting our money where our mouth is offering in, in essentially it's a, it's a free service for our management for whether that be that 60 90 30 day period yeah but it's allowing us to take control and really move forward with the landlord and the client straight away yeah and I think from the conversations I've had for those longer periods landlords get a bit worried about you know what's going to happen in that 90 days so it's just easing their their mind yeah, in that process that it's as still well. being managed effectively and efficiently during that 90 days yeah so if you're happy unhappy with your current agent just reach out and have that conversation we're not saying change agents we're just saying have the conversation see see how we could be different than your current agent but Nick's always here for a chat as I am I and we, we obviously love that conversation that's us for, for this week if you've got any questions obviously in relation to your property something you're looking to purchase something you're looking to sell whatever we can help you with your real estate needs in particular property management of course 
I'm Casey Healy, director here at Century 21 Novocastrian. And I'm Nicole Hoare, investor consultant within our team. We look forward to talking with you soon. Bye. Bye.